Hey YouTube, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about uh, the Pillion Pooch. I received this on Friday. Um, it came all the way from the UK and I was just really excited to have this. I, I was one of the pre-order customers and I waited about like five months for it to come in. And um, I just kind of wanted to try it out and it seemed like a really great concept. The story behind this uh, design and um, uh, it's just a really cool story. It's designed by a guy named Stuart Clark and his wife and and they traveled around the pretty much around the world, the whole United States, South America. They did, the, I think they did the United Kingdom too. And they traveled with their dogs, and they went everywhere. They camped. They uh, they went through you know water crossings. They climbed up mountains with their dogs, and and basically they came up with this design. And and um, it's a really safe motorcycle uh, dog carrier, and it has a roll cage. It has a waterproof outer shell. It's got a pad in there that they include. Um, it's got a, a safety chain, uh, so it's really well thought out, really well designed, and it's probably one of the only ones out there for sale on the market as of this moment. And I just got it in, and I put it on the Tenere. It does require some, um, you gotta be a little bit handy and uh, you figure out how to, how to set this up yourself. I'm sure it's not hard. A lot of motorcycle people, y'all, you know, almost all you guys know how to change your oil and change your, you know, your shaft gear or change your wheels and, and align your forks. So if you can do all that, you can definitely set this up yourself. Um, I'm sure you can find a rack uh, to accommodate it. Uh, he does actually recommend a few racks, but they were all UK racks. So, um, you know, I just went with, uh, actually I did Alt Rider and I found a rack actually on a BMW site and it was a rack extender. It wasn't really part of the rack. So I actually modified the Alt Rider rack um, and I'm not actually completely done, so there's going to be another uh, two more uh, MA bolts down there to, to keep this fully secured down. But um, yeah, just get creative with it and make sure it's sturdy and, and, and uh, uh, you should be good. It, it should keep the, the I mean, the, the, the cage itself is really sturdy. It's full uh, aluminum and it's really thick and everything. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. I don't know how many people. Uh, we'll post videos about this yet. Um, it's very new and I just kind of wanted to put the word out there and, and let people know that hey, you know, there is a motorcycle dog carrier now available and you should buy it. I mean, it's, uh, I think you, you have a lot of adventures with your puppy and you'd probably really enjoy this design. I, I can't wait to try it out. Um, so I'll just continue taking some shots to show you guys. This is on a Super Tenere. This is a 2014 Super Tenere ES. And it can accommodate dogs uh, 40 pounds and up, and kind of just depends on the size of your dog. My, my dog's a little bit on the big side, um, so she's a little bit cramped in there. So most likely I'd be taking this thing on short rides, but um, if we uh, decide to adopt a smaller dog, it'd be great for a smaller dog. And uh, yeah. Your panniers will still fit, and I, I kind of... The way I mounted it on there, I wanted a passenger to still be able to fit. And also, I wanted to mention that um, I also mounted it to such a way where that where the GV out, Outback uh, top case can actually still mount on there. So it's, for me, it's really easy to take that off and then just put the uh, top case on there.